okay. I thought you were napping. Oh, I was, but something woke me up. No rest for the wicked, huh? Oh, Margo, come on. Where are the boys? They are watching videos. And Tom? Oh, he said he had to run a quick errand. He'll be back pretty soon. Oh. You will not say a word about Emery and me to Margo. Excuse me? You heard me. Um, Tom, I think I should handle Maybe this. Maybe you right? want to change your tone, big guy. I'm the one you should be nice to. No, you're the one I'm not going to put up with. You're trying to use blackmail to get a job here? I would have slept with the owner to get one, but that's already you been You better done. shut your mouth. Don't even think about giving me orders, Excuse Tom. me, can we calm down? Just close Yeah, I'll calm down bit. as soon as she's out of here. I'm not the one who committed adultery, remember? And I'm not the one who's got a lot to lose. And if you're as smart as people say you are, you're going to get real nice real fast. And FYI, I am not going anywhere. Unless, of course, you want Margaret to find out that you slept with Emily. You will not say one Tom, word. Excuse me, Tom, 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 Let me handle this, okay? And stop antagonizing her. There's no telling what she's able to do. She tried to pull this crap with Lillian Holden. She's not going to get away with it I again. know, I know. All right, let me handle it, Tom. Let me handle it. There are a lot of things I can do to keep her in line. So just, I need you to relax and go back to the office and prepare for tonight's news segment, okay? I, I can't. What do you mean you can't? I can't leave Margo alone that long, not after what she's been through. Oh, right. I'm, I'm sorry. Oh, Margo. Definitely. You you go. You be with her. Thanks. I'm glad you understand. Now you know me. Family always comes first. Give it up, girl. Phone. Uh, sorry, I, th I thought you'd be asleep. Don't you need to catch up on some rest? No, I'm fine. So where'd you go? I had a, an errand. It just took a little longer than I thought it would. What kind of errand? I just went... Oh, you're hey, guys! Hey, guys. Hey, oh, man. Oh, no. oh, hey, kid, they run your ragged? Oh, no. Man. If you guys get any stronger, you're gonna be on the front of one of those muscle magazines oh, soon. gross, man. They're all, like, greasy and... Oh, man, it's disgusting. <laughs> My sentiments exactly. <laughs> Where were you? Oh, he was just out running some errands. Do I rate? Do I get a hug? Oh, Come, on. Come on. Give me a little hug. Oh, oh you both smell so bad. You smell like potato chips. I know. Hey, Dad, what's the deal? You said yeah. you were gonna take us to the studio. You know, give us a tour around, let us watch some tape, the first segment of the news. What's yeah, I did promise that, um, but we're gonna have to do it another time. I mean, tonight's no good. We're just gonna... Oh. Hang out here at the house with Mom. Whoa, that went over big. Hey, what's wrong with you guys? We're gonna do what we talked about. Order a pizza with everything on it, and then we'll just stay here as a family and do something. I don't know, play a game. How's that sound? What game? I don't know, scrap. You like scrap? That game's so hard. Oh, oh, but I, yeah, I'm not gonna play Scrabble Junior. Uh, you are just striking out, aren't you, huh? <clears throat> no, I got a great game, actually. You know, we played at school all the time. It's called Truth or Dare. Truth or dare? I played at school all the time. Who taught you that, huh? What's your name? What's, What's your name? name? What's your no, name? No, everybody that, huh? plays it. Thank you very much. Oh, it's a very, yeah. very cool game. All right, this is what you do. Hmm. Right. <clears throat> you ask somebody truth or dare, and whatever they say, they either have to take the dare or tell the truth. Truth about what? Oh, uh, you know, you can ask other guys about girls and stuff, mm. you know. <laughs> All right, uh, I'll go first. Who are the girls that you've been hanging out with lately? Oh, uh, you didn't ask me truth or dare. I never said truth. Oh, <laughs> so it's a dare he's looking for. What do you say, honey? <laughs> well, I guess we could dare him to tell us who his girlfriend is. Oh, come on. No fair, man. All right, all right, all right, all right. I dare you to kiss your brother oh, on the cheek. Oh, man. Come on. Oh, come on. Oh. Go on, go on, go on. <laughs> Air safety. <laughs> Okay, it's that. Mm. Okay, Dad, your turn. <laughs> Truth or dare? Uh, hold that thought. No. Hi. Well, obviously you're at home enjoying your family and everything, relaxing. I, I... Yeah, I am. Hi, Margo. Emily. Hi, guys. Hi. Hi, yeah. Well, you know what? I'm not here to drag your dad to work today, so... Well, thank God for that. 
I was just thinking, I know you wanted to give a tour of the studio, you know, for the boys, and, well, it occurred to me that you and Margo wanted to spend some time together, so maybe I could give them a tour. Oh. Got the time? Yes, come on, Dad, please. <laughs> come on. Uh, I'm not sure. You know, I think that'd be a really good idea. So what do you say, Tom? Please, please. I say thanks. That's, that's, you know, very nice. Thanks? Or is that a yes? Yes. 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 That's a yes. Yeah. Good. I've been working with you too hard and too often, so. Okay, boys. Time's away, so let's go. All right, let's go. Go, 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 go. You gonna bring that book? What? Is it, Bob? Okay, let's go. <laughs> See ya. All right, that was very nice of her. I guess I should feel guilty for yelling at Emily. You know, let's not talk about her. I mean, her work, you know. We got a little bit of time together, so let's take advantage of it, huh? How you feel? Really? Really? Yeah. I'm fine. Shouldn't you be lying down trying to get a little rest? No. No, I don't want to lie down because... I lie down and I think about About everything we lost. And I don't want to do that. I don't want to go there. I don't. I don't want to think about the baby that we're never going to have. So I want to think about life and love and having some fun. Well, something we don't do much lately. No, we haven't. So, what do you want to do? I want to do exactly what we planned. Play a game. It's going to be, Tom. Truth or dare. Six, ninety-seven, ninety-eight, ninety-nine, a hundred. No, you're done. Come on. Big finish. Yeah, do All right, it. great, wonderful. Get away from the windows. Let the neighbors see you. Mission accomplished. <laughs> What's that? It's nice to hear you laugh again. Oh. So tell me something. Is that why you chose Dare to make the peanut gallery laugh? Um. Yeah, probably something like that. So are we going to sit around and eat junk food for the rest of the night, or are we going to order that pizza? Uh, it's junk food and finish the game. The game takes precedence. Oh. I mean, I just figured, you know, with the kids going around. No, 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 because it's, it's my turn. Truth or dare? Okay. Truth or dare? Truth. You don't have to do this. No, I want to do this. I'm sorry that you feel this way. I'm sorry you feel you have to keep reminding me that the baby was mine. My wish is that I had never doubted you at all. But you had every reason to doubt me. I gave you every reason to doubt me. I handled things very badly. No, you didn't. No, I did. I did. Listen to me. Let me say this. I didn't tell you the truth about so many things. Tom, about Eddie. About the pregnancy. So many things. And I thought, it's okay to tell little white lies. And I was doing it to, um... To save you, but it was, it was to save me, and that was wrong, because it caused you to distrust me. No, it didn't. Honestly, I, I just don't want to live in the past anymore. God knows that we've both made enough mistakes. I just... You know what? I really gotta say this. I want there to be complete honesty between us. I mean, that's the way you've always handled me, Tom. You have always been completely honest with me, and I want you to know that I'm going to be completely honest with you from now on. down to a science. Every time you guys get some time alone, I can barge in. Sorry. 
I'm just gonna go to my room. No, no, no. Come on in. Hang out. Have some junk food. We got extra sugar and lard, extra salt. Which extra reminds bags. me, I'll get a couple more sodas. Yeah. So I didn't hear you go out. Where'd you go? I just went for a walk by the river. Just thinking. What about my dad? Margo, I was so young when he died. And I just try and I can't remember very much about him, you know? No. No, of course you don't because you were so young. But you knew him. Would you just tell me everything you remember? How he lived and how he died. Anything you could remember would be so great because you know I have picked mom's brain and plus I think it still kind of upsets her. Um, if you Ted, your dad was a great guy. He, uh, I think everybody who knew him thought that of him. In fact, most people just flat out adored him. I know I did. Wow, look who's here! Hello, hello, hello! That was so awesome, man. I got to meet Ira Jones. Oh. Is that right? <laughs> yes. You know what, Katie? We'll uh, talk about this later, okay? Yes. I know. I promise. So, you had fun? Did you, Casey? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And Emily put me and I on TV. <laughs> Emily did that for you, huh? Yes, and also we got to dress up in old costumes. We did some interviews. Um, what else? She put us on tape. The joke. His joke. Remember the joke? His joke? Oh, it was really yeah. bad. The joke was really, really corny. And also, uh, we got to go around the entire studio. I got to use one of the cameras. And I put them each on tape. So here you go. A reel for you, a reel oh, for you. That's you. Wow. So you guys, we got to do this again, okay? Maybe next week? Yeah, sure. No problem. All right. Well... Thank you. That was very nice of you. Oh, it was my pleasure. It was the least I could do.